You know, whenever you're exposed to advertising in this country, you realize all over again that America's leading industry is still the manufacture, distribution, packaging, and marketing of bullshit. <laughs> High quality bullshit, world class designer bullshit, to be sure. Hospital tested, clinically proven bullshit, but bullshit nonetheless. And it always amuses me that so many people seem to think that bullshit only comes from certain sources. You know, advertising, politicians, salesmen. Not true. Bullshit is everywhere. Bullshit is rampant. Parents are full of shit. Teachers are full of shit. Clergymen are full of shit. Law enforcement people are full of shit. The entire country is completely full of shit. In fact, this country was founded by a group of slave owners who told us that all men are created equal. That is what's known as being stunningly, stunningly full of shit. And you know, I think... Uh, and I think people show their ignorance when they say they want politicians to be honest. What are these people talking about? If honesty were suddenly introduced into politics, it would throw everything off. The whole system would collapse. And I think deep down the American people know that. The American people like their bullshit out front, where they can get a good strong whiff of it. That's why they reelected Clinton. Listen, Clinton might be full of shit, but he lets you know it. Dole tried to hide it. I'm an honest man. Bullshit. Bullshit. People don't believe that shit. Clinton said, hi, I'm full of shit, and how do you like that? And the people said, at least he's honest. At least he's honest about being full of shit. It's like the business world. All businessmen are completely full of shit. Just the worst kind of people you could ever want to run into. Businessmen. And the proof of it is, they don't even trust each other. They don't trust each other. When a businessman is negotiating a deal, the first thing he does is to automatically assume that the other guy is a complete lying prick who's trying to fuck him on the deal. So he has to do everything he can to fuck the other guy a little bit harder and a little bit faster. And then, when it comes to dealing with customers, that's when you get the big smile. That's when you get the big smile. Businessman always has that big smile on his face as he carefully positions himself directly behind the customer and unzips his pants and services the account. We specialize in customer service. You heard that? Now you know what it means.